Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are just joining me now then I would love it if you would stick around and hit that subscribe button. Today I'm going to be showing you how I tint and wax my eyebrows from home. I don't just do this because of quarantine. I generally just like to tint and wax my own eyebrows because I am a little bit like specific on how I like them. So this is just how I do it. If you'd like to follow as a tutorial or if you just want to see how I do it then just keep watching. So the product that I'm going to be using to tint my eyebrows is this one by... Isla London and I think I either get it from Superdrugs or Boots I'm not quite sure that I think it's Superdrug but there is one where it does the same thing but it just it kind of dyes your skin a little bit as well whereas this one I find it more tints the actual hairs than your skin is which is what you want well it's what I want anyway so inside you get the activation drops and the little colour and also it comes with the instructions and a little spoolie so I just do, it says, in, it says in the instructions, five drops of the activation and about two centimetres of this which I just feel like that's so hard to judge like what two centimetres is in this little dish part but I just eyeball it and it always turns out fine so I'll show you that now so I'm just going to squeeze about that much, I don't know if you can see that I think that's about two centimetres and then five drops of the activation drops let's hope I don't do more than five if it comes out come on oh no one two three four five ah. and then you just mix it together So when you finish mixing, it should look a little something like this. I don't know if you can see, hopefully you can, like that. And I'm just going to bob it on. So let's just move my hair out of the way because we don't want to dye my hair. And this is going to be so hard to do. I'm going to try and look, I have a mirror here, so I'm going to try and look in there at the same time as letting you guys see. I do it a little bit messily because like, I'm not that bothered because I know I'll, I'll be waxing around the edges anyway, so it doesn't really matter. If I go a little bit out of the lines and also I want to tint every single hair that I can so that they look nice and big and full and fluffy and if I miss any then it'll look silly so I haven't put my glasses on because the ring light is just picking it up so this is hard to do a precise thing when you can't see and there's also a hair in my spoolie Make sure that there's enough product on your eyebrow just so it's coating every single hair. I like to lay it on quite thick. Hopefully you can see. You look silly but you know. So that is one eyebrow. Obviously that is really really thick but like I said I like to do it thick just so that I've covered every single hair. And I brush them up as well um, and my hairs are quite long so that's why it also looks huge. But I'm just going to finish off and do the other one. So there we go, looking absolutely crazy. But if you try this, then you might look a bit crazy as well. Or you might be a lot neater than me and stick to your actual eyebrow shape. So I'm going to leave this on. It does suggest leaving it on for about 5 to 10 minutes. I don't do that. I leave mine on for like 20 minutes. Because I just find that if I take it off after 5 to 10 minutes, it's not as dark as what I want it to be. And obviously I am blonde, but I use the dark brown because I like my eyebrows to be darker than my hair colour and also I just feel like it lasts longer if you start off with your eyebrows quite dark then you won't have to colour them super quick and super soon so yeah I'm going to leave mine on for 20 minutes and then I'll be right back so I hope the lighting hasn't changed too much I just had to change the camera angle and sit down on the floor because I was on my knees before and I realised like how am I going to wax my eyebrows when I'm like kneeling and in awkward position and stuff so I sat down on the floor and I'm just going to cut up some of these which are just wax strips I've had them for ages but I like to take a strip and cut them up into smaller strips so it just makes it a lot easier for waxing my eyebrows because obviously you don't need a huge strip like this for your brows do you? My mum by accidentally smudged my eyebrow downstairs so that's what that is I'll wipe it off in a minute. I've got a couple of minutes left to check. Oh, got a couple of seconds left, so that's good. Thought I had more than that. 
So as you can see, it has developed and it has gone very dark now. That will happen and I look even more mental. But I'm going to be taking it off now with just a baby wipe. Simple, easy and comes off pretty good. I've also got some tissue just to dry them off so that the wax sticks when I get to doing that. Obviously you can see like that it has tinted my skin a little bit but when you wax I'm going to be waxing all around that area anyway so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter how much you scrub them because you have tinted the hairs so you're not going to be taking any of that colour off. You just need to make sure that you've got all the tint off so that they're not going to like keep developing. So yeah. I always seem to have this eyebrow dyes a lot more than this one. Like I feel like it just seems to tint, what's the word, tint. Um, a lot darker, like, where's my last really? I just feel like this one seems to go a hell of a lot darker than this one. And I'm not sure how to fix that. Unless, like, I leave it on this one a lot longer, I'm not sure. So as I was waiting for that to develop, I just heated up my wax. This one is just a Vite original wax, essential oils and flora vanilla fragrance and I've had this for absolutely ages, years in fact and I don't think it's gone off, hopefully not. I don't, can wax go off? Let me know. Anyway, what I like to do and how I apply it is I get the spoolie that I used for the application of the product. Instead of using this side which is the more fuzzy side, I use the hard plastic side and I'll just dip it in. This is really, really hot, so I'm a little bit worried that it's going to burn my skin. I literally only did it for a minute, and I, just, oh, I feel like I should have maybe done it for 30 seconds. But I'm just going to cool it off a little bit. If I go out of the screen, it's because I'm leaning forward to look in this mirror because I'm blind. So, yeah. Hopefully that won't burn me. So I'm just going to apply it up here first. In the past, people used to say that you're not supposed to wax the top part of your eyebrows, but why? Like, why wouldn't you want a clean, nice edge on top? I don't understand why that was a thing, but I've always had to do the top because one of my eyebrows, which is this one, sits higher than this one, and the hairs also grow. A lot taller on this eyebrow so I have to even them out as much as I can. So now I've done that I've just done a really thin line with the stick. I just stick on one of the little pieces that I've cut. It doesn't have to be perfect obviously it's a bit jagged there. Stick it on, rub it on, make sure it's nice and stuck. I used to be scared to rip these off myself and then I soon got over it and then pull it off. And I don't go super close to my eyebrow because, let's face it, you can take it off but you can't put it back on. So I like to go a bit further away than my eyebrow because then it does sometimes like the wax can seep down a little bit and it will take off more than you think. So I never go super, super close unless I know that it's not going to do that. I need a bit more wax, that's ridiculous. And I'm just going around the outside. Oh, that's a bit hot. Like this. And then giving them a nice bit of shape. I don't just do this because of lockdown. I generally do my own eyebrows myself because I just feel like I am such a nitpicky person and I just like it a certain way and I've only got myself to blame then if they come out looking crap. So I like to pull, you are supposed to pull on the skin a bit and pull it off. It's just taking off the little fuzzy ones around the outside and if there's any more still stuck on then take it off. I really want to start uploading two times a week so please let me know down in the comments what you would like to see from me. I've been trying to come up with different video ideas to film because I would like to film two times a week but it's just so hard to think of content ideas. Well, at least it is for me anyway. 
especially in lockdown, like, you can't go anywhere, you can't really vlog anything. I mean, obviously I could vlog being at home, but it is quite a dull at my house. So, and I do enjoy doing my clothing hauls, like, I love them, they are, like, my favourite film, favourite film, favourite videos to film is, like, anything to do with clothes, you know, fashion, beauty, anything like that. But, yeah, just let me know down in the comments what you would like to see more from me or what you would like to see in general. So now you can see I am doing the middle section because that has overgrown. And with this, you pull down. If you are gonna follow this as a tutorial, obviously this is just how I do it, but if you are gonna copy what I do, then you pull down because all your hairs are growing upwards. You have to pull against the hair, not with it. So I just hold that on. I have cold hands, so I feel like that's just like hardening the wax a bit, which is good. Raising my eyebrows to pull my skin. I just feel like when you use a little applicator like this, it's so easy to just draw it on and be more precise. If those wax pots come with like a little wooden, like, what do you call it? A little wooden paddle is that what you call it a little wooden paddle and it's too big like you can't be precise with that so something like this just hard plastic stick is just so much better to get a really nice clean edge and then put it on I probably should have done this before I got in the bath because I've, I've already had a bath and it I do normally do it before a shower or a bath because then any of the leftover tints that is left on my skin will just come off of the hot water. So I would recommend doing this before you have a bath or a shower, but I'm not really bothered. I'm gonna have a shower in the morning. I'm doing this later on at night, so I can just have a shower in the morning and the tint that's left over on my skin will just come off. So because this eyebrow is a bit more stuck up than the other one, I'm not sure if you can tell. I'm just going to use my scissors and trim it a little bit. Now you want to be careful with this, otherwise you can take way too much off. I just do a tiny, tiny bit. I'm not sure if you can see the difference, but I'll show you at the end. So these are how they're looking so far. They don't look too different, but that's why they don't look too much different, but that's because this one, I said, is a little bit bigger. Um, this one always has been just slightly taller, so this one is now starting to look a lot more like this one. And I am just cleaning up around the edges, I'm not doing like super different like shapes and all that sort of jazz. So yeah, I've just put a little bit around the sides and I'll come back to you when I've finished the other one. So this is what they look like after I have finished waxing. I don't think they look too bad to be honest. I mean. If there is any hairs out of place, that's why I say like you should do it at night time before you go to bed because if there is any hairs that you've missed or maybe it's a little bit uneven in the morning once you've showered or washed your face and there's like the little bits of tint that are left over has come off, then you'll be able to see if there is anything that you've missed. So I'm going to leave them for now and then I'll check in the morning and see, I can always titivate and just see if there's anything left over. But what you need to make sure you do now after you've waxed is get a little bit of tissue and put some cold water on and just wipe over them just to make sure there's no like sticky wax left over and then always make sure to put a moisturiser on or some kind of oil just because when you've been waxing you are taking off that top layer of skin so before in the past if I've not moisturised this section around like underneath especially goes very dry so you want to make sure that you moisturise straight after. And also another reason why you should do it at night time is if you go a little bit pink, I don't know if you can tell but underneath and round here has gone a little bit red on me so yeah it's good just to do it at night time because you can go to bed and it'll just cool down and stop being so pink. So that's it for this video, if you did enjoy then please give it a thumbs up and thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you next time, bye!